In today's video, we're going to talk about the best editor of your choice. The best editor of choice is, of course, an editor where you feel comfortable moving around, knowing the key bindings, and is also fast. So, um, what does an editor or IDE need to have? Um, it needs to have autocomplete, which is from a LSP. Um, it needs to be the most modern editor which is out there so i mean of course i'm talking about neovim so why do i choose um, neovim for the best editor of choice um, the reason is actually really simple because you have a real programming language to configure it and not just a json file like you have in vs um, you also can move around like really fast and adapt to the movements pretty easy. Um, you have like the navigation without the mouse so you can spend more time on your home row with your hands. Um, the project is also open source so you can contribute to it, you can make it your own, you can fork it and you can also um, create your own plugins or adjust um, the config file for you. The editor, when you start using it, it's um, not that interesting, but there is a project um, which I let you in the description below. And also Vim or NeoVim is from a fork which is um, from 1976, which is older than you probably are and yes in this time people knew how to program real programs so the advantage of this editor is that you do not have to use your xy coordinate device which is um, after i found it on google called mouse you can also impress your co-workers or your community with it while using it because it always looks really amazing for example, you can do something like this. Here I have a getter and I need to return this always because it's a builder. So I can uh, return this. And you see, I need to do it for all these other lines. But I can record a macro um, right now. So I yank it. I move three down and I paste and then I stop the macro and now I can um, recall it 13 times and oh, that was one time too much and you see this is also filled in pretty easy. So um, how are you going to learn about this game uh, about uh, Vim? You can when you download it, there's something called Vim Tutor. With this, you know, you learn about the basic movements, the basic key bindings, how you can quit Vim. And um, if you do not want to download it or you cannot download it for whatever reason, um, there's an online website, which I leave in the description below, um, where you can learn the Vim movements inside of the browser. And I also think you should be able to use the VI key bindings at least. Um, you can put them in like every editor, also in VS Code, in IntelliJ, in every editor normally you should put the VI key bindings. And then you should start about um, basic movement. You should not use your arrow keys and start using HJKL. Then after this, you can discover the um, W for word jumping. So you can like, like this, jump words. Then with um, B, you can jump back words. With E, you can jump to the end of the word. So you see it's pretty easy to notice key by, uh, to, to notice key by keys. So you see it's pretty easy to notice keys because um yeah and then like i did before i said 13 times repeat the macro 
So you also can say four lines J, four lines down, W, two words forward, two backwards, and so on. You can do this too. So in the end, I think um, you should at least learn the v Vim key bindings. Obviously, it was a joke. You can use whatever editor of choice you have. And if you want to know more about the VI key bindings and you know and you want to know some amazing tips and tricks, um, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.